Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another fantastic campground experiential video. I'm currently set up over on Benbrook Lake, just southwest of Fort Worth. I'm done here. Pretty little, pretty little campground. You got to go back in time last Sunday and you can see this beautiful campground. Well, like I said, I'm done here. I'm packed up. I'm ready to hit the road and we're going to travel a little farther south and we're going to pay a visit to a county park that is on the Brazos River slash Whitney Lake. Yeah, you'll figure that out when we get there. It's a county park just right close to the little town of Rio Vista. I don't know what county that is. It may be Lamar County. Anyway, doesn't matter. That's where we're going. So let's hit the road. I'll see you when we get there. We have arrived at Ham Creek Campground. I found out that this is operated by the good folks of Johnson County, Texas. This is the Brazos, as the Brazos River and Lake Whitney. We're about as far north on Lake Whitney as you can go and still call it Lake Whitney. And you can see that it's also very low. Oh, big fish, perfect timing. That's a pretty steep, you can't see it, but there's a a really steep drop off right there. I don't know how deep the water is. One thing I do know, I don't have cell service. I don't have connection through AT&T or Verizon. And I spoke with one of the Spark Park staff and she said, very limited connectivity. Uh, and there's no public Wi-Fi either. So, make sure you bring some movies or some books or something. I'm gonna be editing video, but I gotta shoot it first. All right, so let's go see some ham park stuff. So if you're looking for a unique and kind of out of the way place to hold a group gathering or a family reunion or just a, a, a shindig, Ham Creek Park has got you covered. Check out this big old group pavilion. And you can even cook up some barbecue when there's not a burn ban. There's a, they've got a very strict burn ban here. There's no charcoal. All right, let's go see some stuff. If you're gonna be coming out to Ham Creek and you're gonna have kiddos with you, they're gonna be excited because there are a couple of these really cool play structures for them to get wild and crazy on. And it's got a very soft padded surface to protect their little skulls. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Deja vu, baby. <laughs> you, ever, you ever been watching a YouTube video and you see the same thing repeat itself? Because when the, the creator was editing, and I've done this before, I'm not, I'm not being critical. <laughs> I've done this several times. You, you're editing and you, you leave the same clip in repetition. And so as the viewer, you're watching it and you're like, oh, wait a minute, didn't I just see him do that? <laughs> yeah, anyway, deja vu, baby. If you're thinking about a big group gathering and Ham Creek is on your radar, man, they have got you covered. They got two pavilions. What big old barbecue pits. This one is actually wheelchair accessible. The other one is not. And the kiddos will be so happy and so excited because there are two play structures. And it's just a beautiful park-like setting out here. All right, let's go see if we can find a boat ramp. Ham Creek Park provides you with two boat ramps. It's actually three lanes of boat ramps. That one takes you straight out into 
the Brazos River slash Lake Whitney and these take you into Ham Creek. When Johnson County was refurbishing this park, they dredged Ham Creek so that that boat ramp would have better access. And this, this is really the best water access in the park. But there's no parking down here for just regular activities. So if you want to come down here and go swimming, you can. You just can't park here. You got to walk. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So if you're of the equestrian set, whoa. Little Red running away. Little Red wants to go in the woods. Little Red wants a trail ride. So if you, if you have horses and they like to go camping with you too, you'll be happy to know Ham Creek has got equestrian camping. And they actually have water and power for each site. Your trailer's parked on the asphalt, but you have picnic tables down here in the trees. They got signs everywhere saying this is natural snake habitat. And there's a deer. How about that? Two deer. Three deer. It's a small family of deer. So we have a covered pavilion there. deer are all moving that way there's, there's more than three all right let's go see some more stuff I have horse camping it stands to reason that you need paddocks so therefore you have paddocks at ham creek campground and it's a really rough piece of trail right here there is an equestrian trail. Seems to be closed for business. I guess you could go around. They just don't want anybody driving down there. It is certainly too hot to be taking a chance on Little Red on rough trails. We're not going to do it. Let's go find some more stuff. Johnson County, you hear the echo? <laughs> Johnson County leases the property from the Corps of Engineers. And as such, the shower bathroom facilities are very Corps of Engineer-ish. The whole concrete stainless steel thing. They are handicapped accessible showers though. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Ham Creek Park is very particular about campsite check-in times. They will not let you into your campsite before two o'clock. She said something about, I don't know, electricity days or I don't know. Doesn't matter to me. What matters to you can't get in your site before two o'clock. Period. But if you do arrive a little early like I did, you can park in one of the day use areas. They got, they got a lot of parking over there. And on a day like today, there's only three other, well, there's only two other RVs in the campground. So there's a total of three of us here. Like, you can't cut me a little slow. Anyway. Let's talk about the campsite, because I am in my site. I opted for a back-end site, because I'm not pulling the pickup. And that's okay, I can back up pretty good. We're in site number 28. 
big spacious patio it's a decomposed granite patio we've got a metal picnic table great shade structure above our heads a vista of the park we have a fire pit and a charcoal grill neither one of those those are off limits because we have a extreme burn ban in place as well we should everything is tinder box dry trash can how about that we've got i don't have to go find a dumpster we got a trash can right here that's awesome shade trees this is actually the one of the one of the shadiest sites there's like three sites that have trees that have shade on the pad most of them have a tree nearby i don't have complete shade but i've got enough now it is an asphalt pad and it actually runs toward the table 50 30 and water deep site you could fit a big you could put up 40 foot coach in here but i think you would uh, end up with leveling issues if, if you were very much longer than what i am i should have come back a little bit farther and this this wheel is a little bit off the ground it's not ideal but it's just me and i'm only here for one night I'll be spending most of my time editing video while I'm here. Ham Creek Park. What a beautiful place. And it's pretty dang quiet too. There's no road noise. We're down in a hole. There's no cell service at all. Uh, there's, there's some t TV channels, some broadcast TV. There's no public Wi-Fi. I won't be surfing the net or replying to comments on YouTube tonight. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta, I gotta go find something to do. Uh, I'll be back. So RV Mattresses by BrooklynBedding.com backslash DudeRV. Make sure you're using the code DudeRV to get your 20% discount. So this, I've been sleeping on that beautiful mattress for, what, uh, I've had four nights on it now? First night, you know, any time, the first night in the, in the RV, I don't sleep quite as well because I'm listening and I'm hearing noises that I haven't heard. You know, this is the brain's got to adapt. But the second night was way better. And the third night, <laughs> I over, I've overslept the last two mornings. So I got to say, the, the RV mattresses by Brooklyn Bedding, man. That's such a comfortable bed. It's such a comfortable night's sleep. I can't say enough good things about it. I mean, you get a, a 10 year warranty. You get to try it out for 120 nights. And at 119, if you're not happy, you get to send it back. Can't, can't go wrong there. It comes in a variety of sizes. Your mattress comes in a variety of sizes. In my instance, here in the RV, we, we have a short queen. They have short queens, long queens, king size. If you need a mattress, they have it. And they back it up with that 10-year warranty, 120-night trial, free shipping, made in America. They're manufactured right in Arizona. And they'll ship it to you for free. Can't go wrong there in, in, at all. And if you use the code DUDERV, they're gonna give you <laughs> they're gonna give you a twenty percent discount. So let's, let's sum this up. You use the code DUDERV, and they're gonna give you a twenty percent discount. They're gonna ship it to you for free from where they make it in Arizona. You have hundred and twenty nights to decide whether or not you want to keep that mattress, and when you decide to keep it. You have a 10-year warranty. Man, that's a winner. 
winner, 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 right? It's a, that's a no-brainer. I want to give a special thanks to RV Mattresses by Brooklyn Bedding. RVMattresses.com backslash DudeRV. I think you should check it out. You really have nothing to lose with RV Mattresses by Brooklyn Bedding. Just go to RVMattresses.com backslash DudeRV. And make sure you use the code DUDERV and you'll get 20% off. Make sure you click the subscribe button if you've not already because you really want to see this beautiful campground on the edge of the Texas Hill Country. If you've already subscribed, thank you. I sure appreciate that. I, I really, really am grateful for you guys that are following me. That's why I'm here. So there are, there are three RVs at Ham Creek Park. This one, my my closest neighbor, it's an Itasca Sun Chaser, Sun Cruiser, Itasca Sun Cruiser. And it looks like, I don't know, maybe that's just a, it looks like maybe it was a police vehicle. No, that's just a red, it's just red highlights, but it's cool. I bet that thing is, what, 27 feet? 26 feet, maybe? That's a neat little class A right there. <laughs> All right, we're, we're gonna go down here to take another look at the river. It's 104 degrees. Well, that was the forecasted high. I, I don't have a thermometer that I can look at. My phone's not connected, so I, I really don't know what the temperature is other than hot. But that's all right. I mean, this is Texas. It's going to be hot during the summer. And the, and the good, the, the upside, nobody's camping. <laughs> so I have, I have the parks all to myself. Beats the heck out of camping in the cold when you have the parks all to yourself. All right. We're headed to the river. So if you're considering coming out to visit Ham Creek Park, but you don't have an RV, uh, there's no hotels out here. It's a long drive. This, this is way out. But they do have tent camping. Uh, of course, you wouldn't want to be tent camping right now because it's 104 degrees. But in more temperate times, you actually have tent sites over here. And they only cost, they're only $10 a night. That's a pretty, pretty good deal. All right, let's go see what else we can find. So I just had to have the, <laughs> I had to have the talk. If you've been following along, for any length of time, you know what I mean when I say the talk. And for those of you that are new to the Dude RV experience, the talk is when I have uh, park staff tell me I cannot operate Lil Red. And in this case, they were not telling me that I could not operate it in the campground, in the park. They were telling me I had to stay on the paved roads. I couldn't, I couldn't be in the grass. And yet they're, they're driving their gator all over the place and there's little roads created by the gator. And little Red is not gonna do that. Little Red doesn't weigh that much. Anyway, enough about the talk. Just know, don't let them, don't let, if, if you have, if you have to rely on a mobility scooter to get around, don't let anybody tell you you can't. Don't let them tell you to stop. Hold your ground. Learn what the ADA, the Americans with Disability Act says. When you start quoting that to them, they back down real quick. All right, we're, we're talking about Ham Creek Park. This is a really pretty, pretty place. I'm, I've, I'm not exactly sure where I am in relation to the day use area. I just, I saw this oak tree and I thought, you know, that's, that's cool. See, see the gator tracks? <laughs> I'm 
can can we actually get down to the water? I think I found a way to get down there. It's easier than the other place. So I'm it's like the second parking lot in the day use area. I don't know. I'll get down here and we'll find out if it's doable. It's a little, little less steep than the other one that I went down. The pigs. There's two kinds of pigs in this park. Wild pigs. Wild pigs and the two-footed kind that don't pick up after themselves. It's a seep. That's what I wanted to come down and, and check out is the seat, the, the water coming out of the ground. It would be very peaceful here if they'd turn off the water pump. All right, I'm gonna pick up some trash and see if I can get back up the hill with it. Stay tuned, more to come. So I had a conversation with one of the groundskeepers she's been here about four weeks she's a newbie uh, but apparently the campsite the campground has looked like this pretty much the whole time she's been working here so if, if you're looking for a place to RV camp and you want some exclusivity Ham Creek Park when it's hot, there's nobody here. And if, if, if you need to, you can go down to the river and take a dip. Good morning. Good morning from Ham Creek Campground, Johnson County. Hold on, got bugs on my feet. Sun's coming up. And this is, this is a pretty little campground. Slept like a baby, considering there's only three campers here. But the two things have occurred this morning. Well, one thing occurred as I was sitting here drinking my coffee, watching the world wake up. The park, I guess he's the park manager. I saw him driving around in a, in a pickup all day yesterday, looking quite official. But this morning, while I was sitting here drinking coffee, he parked over there by the lake, or by the, he parked over there at the end of the day use area road. And I guess he saw me and he, he hiked over here and apologized to me. I was like, man, you don't have to apologize to me. He apologized because yesterday he, es when he escorted, you get an escort coming into your campsite so you're not having to find, hunt for your campsite. Uh, he was the escort vehicle, and as I was unloading stuff, he was like, just just keep your four-wheeler off the grass. And I, I, I said, well, it has three wheels. He said, yeah, I was just joking. Uh, and then I had my interaction with the young lady that had just started working here a couple hours later. But he hiked over to apologize to me for for inadvertently restricting my mobility, uh, and he was he was very gracious about it. I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't inconvenience you. And I'll do. I I do what I do. 
I know where I can go and what I can do. Oh, it was very, very nice of him to hike over here and, and just to apologize. And while it was here, we, I said, man, you guys are doing a great job with this little campground. He said, oh, you need to come back in the spring or the fall when, it, when all the grass is green and it's not quite so hot. Then it's really beautiful and really busy. He said that they're, they've been at, they had been at max capacity up until the, after July 4th. He said it, people just stopped coming out because it got too hot. He said prior to that, this place was full every weekend. And he said, after, after Labor Day, they'll be back. So there's your, there's your window. If you want to come out to Ham Creek Campground and have it pretty much all to yourself, come in the dead of winter or in the heat of summer, <laughs> and there will be no one here. But either way, whenever you can come out to Ham Creek Campground, you, you really should if, if it's on your radar really peaceful here so the only noise the only out of place noise is that big water pump down by the river and I, I heard a, a just now heard a train horn way off in the distance and yesterday a couple boats on the river other than that, it's just birds singing and RV air conditioner running. Beautiful place. I recommend you come pay a visit to Ham Creek. I already said that. It's a destination because this is this off the beaten path. Just, I guess it could be a waypoint, but you're going to have to journey a little bit to get here worth it very much worth it but we're done here I go I've got to load up won't take much put the table in the scooter put the table away and load the scooter I gotta go see mom I got I got videos to edit I have to make a trip down to Houston to have a new floor vinyl floor put in Trudy so I got to get on the road if you've not already I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button you got to see this sun just just now cleared the tree line over there getting bright will be 104 degrees today all right if if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. I typically produce three videos a week, uh, two campground related and one product related. But I also do DIY RV stuff. So I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. So I'm here. I would have... I would probably have never come to Ham Creek Campground if it wasn't for y'all. I appreciate the opportunity. I hope you enjoyed this little visit as much as I did. And for my patrons, I am most grateful for the support. You guys rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?